Very good morning, my dear friends. Myself, Dr. M. H. Anaya. And in today's video, we are going to learn about the projections of a rectangular pyramid. Friends, as the name indicates, a rectangular pyramid will have a rectangular base. One, it will have two longer edges and two shorter edges. And it will have on its lateral surface four rectangles. One, two, three and four rectangles. And sorry, four triangles. And all these triangles are isosceles triangles. This triangle and the triangle on the back side, it will have the same dimensions. Whereas this triangle and this will have the same dimensions. And in this question, he says, there is a rectangular pyramid, a dimension they have given you, height is also given you, and appears as a square of size 30 mm while resting on one of its base edges on HP. So, this part of the question indicates that the object has to rest initially on its base, that rectangle 30 by 50 on HP. So, we have to place it on HP. Next comes the question that while resting on one of the base edges, it could be a longer edge or a shorter edge. And when it is slightly tilted, that should appear as a square in the top view. So, a square will have a dimension 30 by 30, they have given you a square upside 30 mm while resting on one of the base edges. Friends, now we should be very careful how to place the object, whether it should be with a shorter side coming to the right side of the observer or a longer edge of the base coming towards the right side of the observer that you have to think over. Friends, think over. If you place the object with a shorter triangle in front of you or the longer edge, this longer edge, perpendicular to VP and if you just tilt like this, this base will never appear as a square in the top view. For example, now it was a rectangle, now it becomes another rectangle with reduced size of this dimension, the longer dimension remains the same. Further, if you incline downwards, it will get another rectangle. So, the rectangle that Whenever this rectangular pyramid is placed on HP with longer edge perpendicular to VP, this will never appear as a square, that is its base as a square in the top view. So, this part is very, very important. Then how it should be placed? The other choices you have to place like this. That is, one of the shorter edges should come to the right side. So, what happens if you slowly tilt this object? the dimension shorter side 30 30 millimeter which is perpendicular to vp will remain the same whereas this longer edge gets shortened depending on the inclination and there is one particular inclination of the base with hp the base becomes a square that he has given on the question so friends let me place the pyramid on hp my palm is the hp such that one of the shorter edge of the pyramid is to the right side of the observer. Obtain the top view, a rectangular, a rectangle and join that to the vertex. So, you will get in the top view a rectangle with the vertex O joined to all the corner. So, in the top view, you will be able to see this rectangle. Then these four slant edges OA, OB, OC and OD. So let us start the question or the solution by drawing the top view of the rectangle. So friends, I should write a rectangle here of the given size that is 30 by 50. So one side is 30 mm, the other side of the rectangle is 50 mm. So this is 30 by 50. This is the base of the solid. And we will show it as A, B, C, D. This is A, this is B, 
this is C and this is B. So friends, we'll draw projections from here, vertical lines through this. And here, if we join these diagonals AC and BD by dark lines, they meet at a common point which is called as O, the vertex. So in this top view, OA, OB, OC and OD, they represent the top view of the four slant edges of the solid. And friends, corresponding to this top view, let us obtain the print view of the base and the complete print view. So friends, if you draw vertical lines through this, you will get A dash, B dash and XY. The edge on XY is going to be C dash, D dash. And exactly in the center of this, you write a vertical through O, you will get O1, that is O1 dash. This is O comma O1. O1 is for the center of the base, O is the vertex. So we have got the base, then I should get the vertex. The vertex will be at a height of 60 millimeters from the base. So this is the base you have got. So friend, here, try a vertical line. Take a height of 60 mm as specified in the question and obtain O dash, the vertex of the solid. Now if you join O dash to all the corners like this, O dash to A dash, O dash to B dash, O dash to C dash, O dash to D dash, you get all the four slant edges and this is how the pyramid while resting on the rectangular base on which we appears in the print view. Friends, after getting this print view of the object when it is resting on HP, you find that the axis, axis is perpendicular to HP. That is the case with all the solids like prisms, pyramids, cones, cylinders, <coughs> etc. It will be a vertical line. But it says in the question, this pyramid while resting on one of the shorter edges. So it was like this. Now I am going to rotate slowly like that. For some angle, the base making with HP, it appears as a square in the top view. That is to say, the top view of the axis, sorry, is specified as a square only for the base. So friends, what I do? At this end to this figure, I construct a square having side equal to 30 mm. So this will give you the bottom face or the base of the pyramid. So exactly in the center you are going to get O1, the center of the bottom face and while marking these are going to be same. So this is going to be 30, all the sides will be 30, 30 there, because it is a square. So we will number them or name them as A, B, C, D. Friends, this is how the base of the rectangular pyramid appears when it is resting on the edge C, D. Because I am going to draw this figure here. So this point is going to be friends. C dash, D dash and this is going to be A, A dash, B dash will come on this line because it was like this, I am going to rotate like this. So friends, I will write a vertical line through this A. Now friends, you know very well that when this figure is redrawn here, C dash, D dash here, we have this length equal to 50 mm. So taking center C dash, D dash, and radius equal to 50 mm, the longer side, I am going to strike an arc to cut the vertical line drawn through this at this point. And this is going to be very obviously A dash B dash. Friends, if you join this A dash B dash with this C dash D dash, you get the base of a solid. So this will give you the base. Obviously, this will have a length of 50 mm. The top of the base is going to be a square as specified in the problem. Let us obtain O dash now, friends. From the center, we have given the height. It has 60. This 60 mm, I've just marked. And we get O dash. O dash represents 
the vertex in the print view. So friends, we have got the print view redrawn as figure number two. If you call this as figure number one, figure number two is redrawn such that the object is resting on CD and the top view appears as top view of the base appears as a square. Friends, let us open O in the top view, the vertex. So to get the vertex by a horizontal line from here, that is from here, horizontal line, we will get the point O here. Friends, now we have the vertex, we have got all the four corners. We will join the vertex in the top view to all the four corners A, B, C and D. So let me join like this. This is one line, second line, this third line and this is fourth line. Friends, we have got all the slant edges connecting the corners of the base. And friend here, you should know that when you observe this object from the top, the edge CD on which it is resting, this CD, this part is not visible in the top view because it is an opaque body. And hence, this edge CD should be shown by dotted line in the top view. So friends, this is going to be an invisible line, a dotted line. Friends, you got the front view. This is the top view you have got. And in this question, it can also be asked to find out the distance of the highest edge from HP. If you just measure this gap, you will get the height. They can ask you to find out what is the angle made by the axis with the HP, this angle. And they can also ask you to find out what is the inclination of the base with HP. That can also be found out. Remember, since the base and the axis are the triangles to each other, if this is 30, this will be 60. If this is 45, this will be 45. Because of the reason, the axis and the base are normal to each other. Friends, we have got the top view and the print view when the object is resting on CD. And you can observe here, friends, that CD on which the solid is resting is normal to VP. I will write down here. CD is perpendicular to VP. Is it not? Is a line perpendicular to VP? But it says, draw its projection when the edge resting on HP is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Friends, this CD is perpendicular to VP. So I have to redraw this figure, reproduce this figure such that this CD is at an angle of 30 degrees to VP. So friends, I am going to draw a line here at an angle of 30 degrees. On this 30 degree line, the edge CD should come. You know friends, this CD will have a height is equal to 30 mm. So let me mark that CD here. That will have 30 mm. So this is C, this is B, CD. And away from that is AB at a distance of 30. Again, a square, since it is a square, it will have all same dimension. So this is ABCD, A, B, C and D. So this is 30 mm by 30 because we are reproducing this figure number 3 as figure number 4 and then they should have the same dimension. So from CD, take this measurement and locate the point to O. So friends, join O to C, O to D, O to B, O to B and O to A. Now you know friends, this CD is a dotted line. So it will be shown as an invisible line. Friends, figure number 4 and figure number 3 are the same. But only the difference is CD is at an angle of 30 degrees to VP. So I'll write down here CD at 30 to VP. 30 degrees to VP. It was normal. Now it is 
30 degrees to VP. Friends, finally, let's obtain the corresponding frame view of the solid. Friends, we will start from defining the A. So, A and B lie on this. So, we can write a horizontal line through A dash, a vertical line through A. The point where those two intersect is the point A dash. Okay, closer to this. Okay, A dash. Then B, horizontal line from B dash, vertical line from here. So, you will get this point as B dash. I'll mark it here, A dash, B dash. C and D are on the XY line. So, D will come somewhere here and this point C will come here. So, this is point C and D. A dash, B dash, this is C dash and this is B dash. This is the base of the solid frames. Then, let us locate O dash. So, draw a horizontal from O dash, a vertical line from this O. The point of intersection of these two will give you O dash, the vertex of the solid. So, we call it as vertex O dash. Friends, you observe, the base of the solid is nearer to the observer. And hence, you will be able to see the complete base of the solid. The base is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. So, I am going to join A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, C dash to D dash and D dash to A dash. This is the base of the solid and the center of the base that is this is O1 here and this is O1 dash comes from here here. So, we will call it as O1 dash. Now, after getting the base of the solid, you have to join that to the vertex O dash. So let's join O dash to A dash, O dash to B dash, O dash to D, C, D dash and O dash to C dash. Friends, when you are joining O dash and C dash, it is intersecting this line A dash, D dash. Since A dash, D dash is already known to be a visible line, the other line intersecting with that should be an invisible line. So I have to show this line A dash, B dash, A dash, sorry, O dash, C dash by an invisible line. And again, axis you have got, mark axis to show O and dash. Friends, this figure will give you the final front view of the solid and this is the top view, TV of the solid. And you have to verify whether the solution we have got is Satisfying all the requirements given in the question. Let's check. The object is resting on one of the edges that we have decided as the shorter edge CD. The CD is on HP. So we have the CD here perpendicular to VP. So since it has to be at 30 degrees to VP, we are redrawing this figure number 3 as figure number 4, wherein CD is at an angle of 30 degrees to VP and we obtain this solution. Friends, I hope you are happy with the presentation. If you are happy, only you share the information with all your friends. Have a wonderful day.